In this video, I'll be talking about the Dungeon Tack cards from the Judges Guild that came out in around 1976. Big stack of them. This is my what's left of my copy. They're not quite a complete, but almost complete set. Uh, very heavily used. Uh, discuss them in the video. Around 1976, the Judges Guild released a set of Dungeon Tack cards. There were a couple of other editions of this, of the cards. Uh, that's when I bought them. I don't have a complete set. I lost some of them in, shall we say, the disaster when I came back from Europe and uh, some of the stuff was lost in the mail. Um, but this is the first card in the Dungeon uh, Tack cards. As you can see, the cards show a little bit of use, but this was the men attacking or uh, characters attacking. So you had a column for fighters, a column for clerics, a column for magic users. That was broke down. Whether it was going against um, armor, no armor, the different armor classes that were there. And then you even <clears throat> see the modifiers for strength are all on the single card showing how you converted you know, if you were a fourth level fighter uh, or the example I've got this sort of highlight, if you can see it, is if you had a seventh level fighter going against a character in leather armor, you needed a, uh, to roll a seven. And if your strength was up at there at 18, your hit probability was plus two and your damage was plus three. So it was all on one card. And this is a similar one. This is monsters attacking. So you see the uh, hit dice of the monster, how that worked out versus the armor that the characters were in. And so this did your look up uh, uh, on how to hit. And like I said, you can see that some of this card is, you know, been used and circled and various things like that. One of the interesting things about first edition, I mean, not first edition, original D&D &D, is that you actually had modifiers for armor class by weapon. So that a sword against no one got a plus one to hit, whereas if it's against plate mail, it's a minus one or plate mail and shield, it's a minus two. So... Uh, this lists how much damage each one and how long the weapon was. These were the useful cards uh, that you had about that. But we'll get back to this modification based upon um, armor class. So this, this card shows a, in a bit more detail how the various weapons and how they were affected by armor class. So this sort of summarized everything. So if you're going against a sword in someone who is in chain, you needed an eight, which, which is the same as leather because the effect of a sword on a uh, chain is more effective. It, it got pluses uh, against chain and such. And the same thing is with, um, as you're seeing up here, the asterisk is if the defender is prone, he only need a seven. Now this today, can you imagine you have one card which lists all the monsters that were defined in first in the original D&D. This is all the monsters and how much damage they do by weapon or, or damage they do or, or by weapon. So if they, they're attacking with a sword, you use the sword or a hammer or whatever, but it's a little bit different. Um, you imagine the size of the print if you tried to do that with uh, fifth edition, you know, you have a whole book of uh, monsters or fourth edition, which has three volumes, I think, of monsters. So you see it was uh, uh, interesting to see the difference in how things were listed, how much damage you had. And it's sort of the interesting question. Do we really need all those monsters? 
if you like my video, press the thumbs up button. I'd appreciate that. Or if uh, this interests you, you can always subscribe to my channel. There's a button right above. Uh, I look forward to hearing some comments. Tell me what you think about this and I'll uh, uh, try and reply and uh, we can see if I'll do some more of these. Thank you.